Hi, I am Greg Wilson Amorhas from BSIP 2A and we are going to tackle about Aristotle and Aquinas frameworks and principles behind the moral disposition framework. But first, who is Aristotle? So Aristotle was born in circa 384 BC in the Stagiria, a small town in the northern coast of Greece that was a once a seaport. So Aristotle's father's name is Nicomachus and his mother's name is Pestes. Both died when Aristotle still a young boy. When Aristotle turned in 17, he enrolled in Plato's Academy. But in circa 338, he began tutoring Alexander the Great. In 335, Aristotle founded his own school, the Lyceum in Athens. Some of the notable works of Aristotle is Nicomachean, Ethics, Politics, Metaphysics, Poetics, and prior analytics. This is the continuation from the first topic. So, Aristotle's theories of morality centers around his belief that people, like everything else in nature, have distinctive ends to achieve and a function to fulfill. In his magnum opus, Nicomachean Ethics, he argues that every in inquiry and similarity, even action and pursuit, is start to aim at some good. Aristotle ethics. So the first Aristotle ethics is we respect the good, right, happiness. The good is a not a disposition. The good involves a teleological system that involves actions. Second, the good character. People have a natural capacity for a good character. Virtue, a right, or excellence is defined as a mean between two extremes of exist and defeat in a regard to a feeling or action. Third, pleasure. And fourth, friendship. Fifth, the contemplative faculty. Ontological dimension refers to everything that is socially constructed by human being, included social institution, norms, arts, literature, concepts, categories, theories, and techniques and axiological dimension of a given matter implies the notion of human's choices for moral, ethical, artistic, and spiritual values. And here's some the famous book of Aristotle. First is Nicomachean Ethics, which is believed to have been named to it and tribute to, it, to Aristotle's son, Nicomachus. Aristotle prescribed a moral code of conduct for what he called good living. And the second is Eudemian Ethics. It's another of Aristotle's major treatises on the behavior and judgment that constitute good living. And we have sounds of the virtue ethics, the eudaimonism, care ethics, agent-based approach, and the path of happiness. Aristotle said that the best way to be happy is to develop a virtue and humans are rational beings and we have the kinds of good the instrumental good and the intrinsic good and the ultimate purpose of human existence according to aristotle the ultimate good or end is happiness for aristotle happiness is a final goal or end that involves the totality of human life to continue, let's learn more about St. Thomas Aquinas. So he is a uh, son of Landolf, Count of Aquino. St. Thomas Aquinas was born in circa 1225 in Rocasica, Italy, near Aquino Tierra di Lavoro in the Kingdom of Sicily. Thomas had eight siblings and was the youngest child. His mother, Theodora, was Countess of Tiano. Though Thomas' family members were descendants of emperors Frederick I and Henry VI, they were considered to be the lower nobility. In circa 1239, Thomas Aquinas began attending the University of Naples. In 1243, he secretly joined an order of Dominican monks, receiving the habit in 1244. When his family found out, they felt so betrayed that he had turned his back on the principles to which they subscribed that they decided to kidnap him. So Thomas' family held him captive for an entire year, imprisoned in the fortress of San Giovanni at Rucasica. 
During this time, they attempted to re uh, deprogram Thomas of his beliefs, but since Thomas had fast to the ideas he had learned at university, however, and went back to the Dominican order following his release in 1240. Aristotle's study, astronomy, and science are still influential in the world today. <clears throat> um, Thomas Aquinas was an Italian Dominican friar, philosopher, Catholic priest, and doctor of the church, an immensely influential philosopher, theologian, and jurist in the tradition of scholasticism. He is also known within the latter as the doctor of Angelicus, the doctor communist and doctor universalist Thomas Aquinas, born on 1225. He was Sita, Italy, and he died March 7, Fosonova Abbey, Italy. And thank you.